uh, shouldn't the other half of the devil be here by now? For your information, pumpkin, Mickey will be here soon enough. And we're going to be out tonight. Really? Tonight? It's Friday night, though. What could possibly pull you two perverted women away from Tom Selleck and Mickey Rourke? <laughs> A job? A job? What are you talking about? There she is. Do you remember Lou Ann Johnson? Well, she works at the local day night. Isn't she the awful woman that wears those Daisy Dukes with a lot of makeup like Tammy Faye and goes after every man she sees? You're friends with that? That's her. Well, She's sick and she needed someone to cover her ship tonight. So, she asked me and Mickey if we would do it. But you two aren't friends, Well, she likes your mother. Yeah, everybody likes your mother. Well, I mean, still, do you two even know how much work that is to run a store? And besides, last time I checked, Luann runs a late night shift. I mean, all we have to do is keep the store clean and take people's money. How hard can that be? Mm -hmm. For you two, impossible. Besides, isn't Day Night that store that's been robbed several times in the past month? Oh, are you concerned for us, Pumpkin? <laughs> you two know. <laughs> More like the robber. We'll be safe. That's right. I brought protection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Mickey. Rape is not a form of protection. <laughs> For your information, it's a great old big butcher knife. That's right. Hmm. Mickey here is a marksman in high school with knifing. Hmm? She can hit a person with a hundred feet with dead eye. That's right. Well, I'm definitely worried now. You and knife throwing Mickey here are definitely going to get yourselves hurt. Sure glad there isn't a rush around here. Yeah. Be too much for my brain around this place. You know, they'd make more sales if they just spruce the place up. Like how? You know, move a few things around. Now, would you look and see? We'll have tons of people coming in here now. I hope so, because I'm already bored again. Are you kidding? All she bought was booze and a pregnancy test? Girl, would you believe that's the fourth pregnancy test I've sold tonight? You know what? When they buy booze, they should be buying condoms. Then, they wouldn't have to come back in here for a pregnancy test. You know, we should run a free promotion. Hmm. What kind of promotion? Maybe one warn them not to have sex or they end up with over-controlling, overbearing children. Nobody listens to that. Besides, if they did, nobody would have children. I say we give a free condom away with every purchase. <gasps> you mean slip it in your bag? Why not? They'll thank us later. Well, it sounds like a plan to me. Yes, yes. This condom is a free promotion that we're running. With every purchase, you get a free condom. Happy Top Hat to you! That'll be $26. This here is a condom. And we're running a special promotion tonight at the store. Free condom with every purchase.
great. One of those. Carly! Want no English. How much does he owe? $26. speaking one around here. Pro favor mucho dinero. Dos cese. Por favor, habla español para poder leer sus labios. I think he just back talked me. <gasps> Look, other things in America are free. But not our booze. Perdone, no los entiendo. Soy mudo. What did he say? I think he was telling you off. <gasps> oh. Look, you owe dos. Debbie Vente says Dolores. Al fin, alguien que me pudo ayudar. Chancos pueden ver sido más ayuda que estos dos. Me pregunto, esta flaquita, ¿dónde aprendería su español? ¿En el zoológico? <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Muy amable. Oh, wow, look! Thank you. I think this is it. What? I think that guy's casing the joint so he can rob us. You think? He's been going up and down the aisles, touching stuff, but not really buying anything. Oh, look, he's going to the nudie mags. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You forgot to zip something oh. up while you were over there at the dirty magazines. Yeah. I didn't forget anything. Yes, you did. You forgot your fly and and that is hanging out. You better not have made a, oh, a mess over there with those magazines. I've been cleaning all evening. Well. Zip it up, dude! No. Buddy, zip it up! What are you gonna do about it? You gonna call the police? By the time you call them, I'll be out of here. So, you aren't gonna zip it up? That's right. Hmm. Zip it or lose it? think he'll be back. I scared him so bad that teeny thing shrunk up smaller than it was before. I think it'll be years again before that picture's back out into the world.
Oh, that you were in a store exposing yourself? Too late. Dunn called him. Called the police, too. Maybe next time you'll think before you come into a store and expose yourself to everyone. <laughs> Can you believe that kid was worried I called his parents? Well, how could you call his parents? We don't even know his parents. Give me all the money in the back. Here, we're having a free promotion on condoms. Uh. I'm fed up with this place. People who can't speak English, a dirty building that I'm sure broke some health codes, and uh, now a robber? How much is Luann paying us for this? Not near enough. Can you imagine she goes through this every night? Oh. Help me. Call 911. I'm dying. Uh. Oh. Hello, Sheriff Randy. Help this me. is Mickey Heath over at the day and night. I have help a me. few complaints. 